Hello everyone. Welcome to ISTQB Certified Tester Foundation Level Training. Before we go ahead, I would like to introduce myself. I am a computer science engineering graduate with more than 10 years experience in software testing field. I have extensive experience in testing complex enterprise applications and have varied experience in different domains in IT industry. I am certified software quality analyst and ISTQB certified foundation level and ISTQB certified advanced level test analyst. I am a founder of a software testing website known as softwaretestingmentor.com which has extensive resources on software testing and test automation. I have delivered numerous classroom and online trainings on software testing and test automation. So let's understand first what, what is ISTQB or what ISTQB stands for. So ISTQB is International Software Testing Qualifications Board and it was founded in November 2002 and is a non-for-profit association which is legally registered in Belgium. ISTQB has defined the ISTQB certified tester scheme that has become a worldwide leader in the certification of competencies in software testing. And ISTQB is an organization based on volunteer work by hundreds of international testing experts. And if you want to get a more details about ISTQB and different certifications available, you can visit the website istqb.org. So let's understand what are the different levels and modules of ISTQB certification. So if you see the diagram, the certification starts with the foundation level. So foundation certified tester foundation level test analyst. So in this, there are three different certifications, the normal foundation certification and the other is the agile tester, which is planned for 2014. Then the other one is model based testing, which is planned for 2015. So these all these three certifications will lie in the uh, these lie in the software in foundation level certification. Then once you are foundation level certified, the next level is advanced level, which is certified tester, a tester advanced level, which has three different, uh, uh, three different kind of certification. First is the test manager, and test analyst, and technical test analyst. Then after the advanced level, there is an expert level. In expert level, there are two certifications which are available right now and the other two are planned for 2014 and 2015. So test management is available and improving the test process is available right now. Test automation and security testing are planned for 2014 and 15. So let's understand what the foundation level certification is. So foundation level qualification is aimed at professionals who need to demonstrate practical knowledge of fundamental concepts in software testing. So the main, main aim of having a foundation level certification is to make sure that you have acquired fundamental knowledge in the software testing field. You know what different methodologies or how software testing occurs in an IT organization. That's the main fundamental uh, aim of foundation level qualification. Then it includes people in roles like test designers, test analysts, test engineers, test consultants, managers, user acceptance testers and IT professionals. Foundation level qualification is also appropriate for anyone who needs a basic understanding of software testing. For example, project managers or quality managers or software development managers or business analysts, even the IT directors and management consultants. So anybody who wants 
a fair bit of idea what software testing is and how it occurs in the IT organization in development organization then you need to go ahead and uh, learn the certification and do the foundation level certification it is kind of if you want to make your career in software testing this is the certification or this is the the course that you need to go through and understand different roles and responsibilities and how you can do testing in an organization and there is another level that is advanced level certified tester advanced level which comes after you have done your foundation level certification which has three levels test manager test analyst and technical test analyst so advanced level qualification is aimed at people who have achieved an advanced point in their careers in software testing this includes people in roles such as testers test analysts, test engineers, consultants, and test managers. So anybody who has been working in software testing and has gained a fair bit of good understanding about the testing process and uh, methodologies, they can go for advanced level test certifications. Advanced level qualification is also appropriate for anyone who wants a deeper understanding in software testing, such as project managers, quality managers, software development managers or business analysts, uh, the directors and management consultants. So anybody who needs a deeper understanding in the software testing in an organization, advanced level certification or qualification is suitable for those people. And to, to receive an advanced level certification, you must hold the foundation certificate and satisfy the exam board which examines them that they have sufficient practical experience to be considered advanced level qualified. So you have to you have to do foundation level certification and then you have to satisfy that you have to satisfy the board that you have sufficient practical experience to take advanced level certification exam. Then the other um, level of ISTQB certification is uh, expert level, certified tester expert level, which has four certifications. The first one is improving the test process. The second is test management. Third is test automation, which is in progress and planned for 2014. And the other is security testing, which is also in progress and planned for 2015. So each expert level module has clear business outcomes. These provide information to businesses concerning the expectations of an expert in a particular subject. The business outcome map to the individual learning objective in a particular module. So an expert level module, there, there has to be clear business outcome in order to acquire, in order to attain this certification. So let's see what are the contents of foundation level syllabus. So ISTQB foundation level syllabus has six different modules. So the first module is fundamentals of testing in which you have, you need to learn why is testing necessary, what is testing, the principles, seven principles of testing, fundamentals test, fundamental test process, psychology of testing and code of ethics. Then the second module is testing throughout the life software life cycle in which we'll cover software development models, different development models that are followed in the IT industry. Then different test levels, uh, test types and maintenance testing. The third module is static testing techniques in which we will learn about static te techniques and the test process. Then we'll see how the review process works in static testing techniques and then how static analysis is done by using the tools. The fourth module is the testing design techniques in which you, we will learn about the test development process. What are the categories of test design techniques? Then we'll learn about black box or specification based techniques then white box or structure based techniques 
then finally experience based and how to choose the best um, uh, how to choose the test techniques in software testing then the fifth module is the test management module in which we will see how test organization happens in the testing life cycle how test planning and test estimation is done how to prog how to monitor the test progress and control in case of any um, deviations then how configuration management is helpful in software testing and how it is done in software testing and in the software development life cycle then we'll see what are the risks uh, and testing how risks affect the testing and finally how incident management is done and what is incident life cycle or defect life cycle and then last module in foundation level is tool support for testing so we'll learn in this module we will learn about types of test tools how to use the tools effectively what are the potential benefits and risks of using the tool and what and how you can introduce a tool in an organization what are the advantages and disadvantages of introducing a tool into the organization so this this the course that i have created completely follows this foundation level syllabus and covers all the aspects of the foundation level contents and syllabus so what are the learning foundation level learning objectives so foundation level professionals should be able to use a common language for efficient and effective communication with other testers and project stakeholders so the objective of this certification is to so that everybody who is doing these certifications has a common language for efficient and effective communication with other testers and project team members then understand established testing con concepts the fundamental test process test approaches and principles to support test objectives the third objective is to design and prioritize test by using established techniques so the techniques that we'll discuss the test design techniques you should be able to design your test cases using those techniques then you should be able to analyze both functional and non-functional specifications such as performance and usability at all test levels for systems with the low to medium level of complexity then you should be able to execute test according to agreed test plan and anal analyze the reports on the results of test and write clear and understandable incident report that's another important objective that you should be able to write proper and clear uh, incident reports then you should be able to effectively participate in reviews of small to medium sized projects so you should be effectively you should be able to provide the inputs effectively in reviews then you should be familiar with different types of testing tools and their uses so familiar familiarity with tools is very important how the tools are being used in an organization you should also be able to assist in the selection and implementation process of the tools so these are some of the foundation level learning objectives then let's see what is the exam structure for foundation level exam so the foundation level exam is characterized by um, there are 40 multiple choice questions and a scoring of one point for each correct answer so one point is given for each correct answer there is a pass mark of 65 percent so you have to score 26 or more points to pass the duration of foundation level exam is 60 minutes unless and until there is a candidate who is not taking their exam in their native or local language so if the exam is not being taken in the native language the duration is 75 minutes so this distribution of questions across k levels and chapters so in istqb there is there are k levels defined and the chapters there are six different modules so how 
are the questions distributed uh, against the K levels and the chapters. So number of questions per K level. So K1 you will get 20 questions. K2 you will get 12 questions. And K3 and K4 there will be 8 questions. So total comes to 40 questions in foundation level exam. We will understand what these K1, K2, K3 and K4 um, stand for in the next slide. And then based on the modules or chapters, so there, we discussed there were six chapters. So from chapter one, you will get seven questions. Chapter two, you will get six questions. From chapter three, there will be three questions. From chapter four, there will be maximum number of questions. There will be 12 questions. Chapter five, there will be eight. And chapter six, there will be four questions again. So in all total, 40 questions will be there. So let's understand what are K levels. So the foundation and advanced exams cover four different K levels, K1 to K4. K1 is just to remember that you should be able to remember or recognize a term or concept. Then K2 is a level higher than K1 that you should be able to understand. So the candidate should select an explanation for a statement related to the question topic so you should be able to select the explanation for the statement as well then k3 is apply so the candidate should select the correct application of a concept or technique and apply it to a given context and k4 is analyze so the candidate can separate information related to a procedure or technique into its constituent parts for better understanding and can distinguish between facts and interferences. Inferences. So K1 is remember, remember, K2 is understand, K3 apply and K4 analyze. So these are different K levels defined in foundation and advanced examinations. Thank you.